Deputy Mary Lou McDonald. Deputy's five minutes. <clears throat> uh, uh, we know that countries with comprehensive primary care systems tend to have lower health costs, lower mortality rates, longer life expectancy, and greater satisfaction with their health care system. As far back as 2001, Fianna Fáil's Micheál Martin, the then Minister for Health, announced with great fanfare his government's primary care strategy, a new direction, it was called. Well, of course, the outcomes have fallen far short of the promises made then by Deputy Martin. Time has moved on, but the fundamental flaw of Fianna Fáil's strategy lives on in the current government's plans for primary health care provision. We know that primary care teams need facilities, but to date there has not been sufficient buildings to complement the government's primary care strategy. Instead, we have a situation where virtual primary care teams, few as they are, have no building from which to deliver services and are unable to develop robust relationships with their communities or indeed with one another. And despite this recognised failing of Fianna Fáil's health strategy, the current programme for government does little to right this wrong. Experience tells us that the primary health programmes that work best are when appropriate infrastructure is in place. Yet primary health care centres get just a passing mention in the government's post-election commitments. Compounding this problem is the ongoing shortage of GPs. Dublin's north inner city, which I am proud to represent, has the lowest general practitioner coverage per head of population and has the highest incidence of closed GP lists. It also has some of the worst health and deprivation indices in the country, with the poorest access to primary health services. The North Dublin Inner City Training Programme in general practice is trying to ad address these imbalances, but the lack of primary care facilities continue to, to thwart their efforts. And it's time for the government to step up and deliver desperately needed primary care facilities to the inner city and increased GP training places. Evidence shows that by setting up general practitioner training programmes in places where it has been traditionally difficult to attract GPs, it does lead to an increase in the number of GPs working in these areas. And that is what needs to happen. These are not options, they're not luxuries, they're basic must-haves. I want to take the opportunity of this evening's debate to note the news that an independent review group have recommended the Matter site as the best location for the new children's hospital. I want to support my colleague Deputy Cuevin O'Quailon's call for the publication of that review and indeed concerns he has raised as to what happens in the interim to Temple Street, Crumlin and Talla. These hospitals have to be properly resourced and supported to continue to provide excellent hospital services for children while we await the opening of the new promised facility. And can I also say that now that a decision has finally been made on the location of the children's hospital, what we need is action. We need the hospital. We also need government to address the ongoing shortfalls in existing hospitals, uh, including in the large acute hospitals in Dublin. No, I, I note that recently the HSE gave the matter a red card for unsatisfactory performance in respect of waiting lists for patient admissions, and I'm very conscious that this is not unique to the matter hospital. Indeed, the numbers languishing on hospital trolleys across the state are testament to that. There are also now an estimated 200,000 citizens awaiting outpatient appointments in hospitals across the state. That is simply stunning. It's a shameful figure for any government to stand over. And as we speak in this House this evening, what Minister Riley intends to do about this is anybody's guess. The Sinn Féin motion before us calls on government to maintain services and to provide access to quality services on a universal 
basis. And I commend the motion to every member of this House.